dy dx equal 2x plus y, and let y equal f of x be a solution to this differential equation. Okay, so we have a differential equation. We're just saying f of x is what we're calling a solution to this differential equation. We have part a and b. Is the point 1, negative 2 a critical point of f of x? And b is 1, negative 2 a relative max, min, or neither? <laughs> Here we go. So, to see if something is a critical point, we know that's the case when the derivative of a function is either equal to 0 or undefined. All right, well, we know the derivative, so we basically just want to see um, if dy dx equals 0 or is undefined at 1, negative 2. So let's figure out dy dx analyzed at 1, negative 2. It's 2 times x, so 2 times 1, uh, plus y, so plus y is negative 2. Ooh, my derivative equals 0. Therefore, 1, negative 2 is a critical point of f of x. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. The point 1, negative 2 is a critical point of f of x because the derivative is 0. So we've determined that 1, negative 2 is a critical point of f of x. So let's turn our attention to part b. Is 1, negative 2 a relative max, min, or neither? So is 1, negative 2 a relative min or a max of f of x? Let's find out. Okay. So often when we're looking for relative mins and maxes, we use the first derivative test, right? We do our number line. We put our critical point down. We look for points to the left and to the right and see if the derivative is positive and then negative. That gives us a relative max, or if this derivative is negative and then positive. But that's not going to really work here because I have both x's and y values. So I don't know how I'm going to go to the left and the right of a point 1, negative 2. So what the heck should I do? Hmm. I have an idea. I bet you do too. How about the second derivative? The second derivative test is going to help us. If my second derivative is positive, right? My second derivative is positive at 1, negative 2, then that means my function f of x would be concave up, which means that that critical point would be a relative min. Or if my second derivative of f of x is negative, that means it's negative at 1, negative 2, that means 1, negative 2 would have to be a relative max. All right, so let's investigate the second derivative. All right, here we go. So second derivative is just the derivative of the derivative. I'm just going to use Leibniz's notation. I know this is confusing for some folks, but it's just notation. That means second derivative, just like f double prime. Okay, so the derivative of 2x is 2. Derivative of y is dy dx. And now I want to find the second derivative at the point 1, negative 2, which means I'm just going to plug in 1 and I'm going to plug in negative 2. But hold on, hold on. I, dy dx... Wait, you know what I think I should do first? I think I should replace that with 2x plus y. Okay, so let's do that first. So this is really 2 plus 2x plus y. Everybody see what I just did? I replaced the dy dx with 2x plus y. And now I'm going to be able to do this better. So this is going to be 2 plus 2 times x, and my x is 1, plus my y, which is negative 2. This gives me 4 minus 2, so that's 2. 
All right, two is my second derivative. That is very definitely positive, which means my second derivative is positive at one negative two, which means one negative two is a relative minimum. A relative minimum of f of x. Da, 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 da. Very nice. One last point. If you notice, I did not ask you to solve, right? I did not ask you to find f of x to solve this differential equation. Think about why I didn't ask you to solve this. Yeah, this is not a separable differential equation. Remember, a separable differential equation is one where you can separate the, the y terms and the x terms, right? That's what makes this separable. And if you think about this for a moment and try to algebraically move things around, you'll discover that there's no way to get the y's isolated and the x's isolated. So that's why I didn't ask you to solve this particular differential equation, because you do not know uh, in AP Calculus, we don't talk about how to solve uh, differential equations that aren't separable. Okie doke.